Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So it's been a couple weeks since I've uh, filmed a video. Um, yeah, just uh, October wasn't the best month. Uh, that's when my, my late son Garrett was, uh, has his birthday in October and he died in October. So it's always kind of a, a rough month for me. Um, and uh, yeah, it just kind of, it kind of drains me. And then um, I, uh, do the bookkeeping for my husband's company and uh, I went on strike and I said I am not doing any more work until you get me a new computer because this one is going to crash. It's well over five years old and it's slow as molasses in January and uh, it's just acting up and um, I'm not working anymore until you get me a new computer. So he get, got me a new computer. Julian helped me set it up because I have no clue how to do that stuff. Um, but then we lost the code to transfer the new, the old information from the old program to the new program. Took a couple of days to find that code and then uh, when I did get everything going then, uh, I don't know, uh, little computer fairy or internet fairy came and kind of updated everything and uh, I couldn't find half my... Um, forms and that I use for bookkeeping like all the government forms that I fill out all the time and and I'm like I can't I'm trying to get onto Frank's email because that's how I send all the emails to the companies and I couldn't I couldn't get on his and the password wasn't working. this went on for a couple weeks and um yeah uh by the end of the day I, I'm just I was just drained I just like oh anyway um so yeah, it was just just one of those months, and uh, but the good the couple of good things. Uh, Millie's making progress. She uh, is going on the thirty first uh, for her um, physio again, and she's up to twenty five minute walks now. She's doing her exercises well. Uh, she once in a while she's a bit stiff and sore when she first gets up from a nap, which is expected, but that's getting less and less. So she said next time uh, we go there, she'll be doing some jumps and uh, increasing her activity in that. And she's just a happy, happy puppy. And the Toronto Raptors, my beloved basketball team, is playing again and they're doing good. So there's a couple good things. So anyway, that's a little bit of a catch up. So um, I went to uh, Winners Home Sense and Marshall, my favorite little stores um, over the past couple weeks kind of helps me deal with stress, a little retail therapy. And I picked up uh, lots of different goodies uh, along the way. So safety first, uh, I am going to show you some of these um, uh, traction for your shoes that I get every winter. Um, they usually last the winter. Um, sometimes they kind of, kind of break or something because I use them quite a bit. Uh, but these are the Yak Tracks. And you put these on your shoes or your boots for the winter time. Now this one has these coils all along it. Um, I find these ones work better than those other ones that just have, you know, maybe half a dozen spikes along it. I find these coiled ones work much better. And these are a lifesaver when I'm out in the woods. Um, sometimes the sidewalks are just covered with pure ice and I do not slip with these on and yeah they are just so good um, so I did get a pair for Frank and Julian and then I got uh, a backup pair for myself um, uh, because uh, yes I, I'm just when I'm out in the woods there's so many rocks and roots sticking out and and um, sometimes one might break or um, so I always like to have a backup uh, but yeah, I found these in Marshall's um, uh, Winners, and yeah, if you don't want to break a hip or <laughs> break something in the ice and snow, these really, really do the trick. And yeah, that's what they that's what they look like when they're on the on the boot and shoe. So yes, those um, I highly, highly recommend those. Alrighty, and then. Um, I did get this coffee cup, which I really don't need another one. Um, now this one is Fur Mama cup. Now I do have a Fur Mama cup, but it doesn't have all these cute little 
little paws all over it. So this is little fur mama. And then it came with um, it came with this pair of socks. Now I was hoping the socks would have maybe some of those little sticky treads with the paws on it on the bottom, those non-slip ones. But anyway, these were are just plain ones. I thought they'd have a little bit of a design on them. But anyway, that's okay. They're they're very soft and 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 cozy there. Alrighty, and then um. I did get some um, soaps, which again I don't need. I don't need any more soaps. Um, but I mean, how can you resist? Look at those. Now this is by Asquith and Somerset, and they make very nice uh, body scrubs, very moisturizing body scrubs. And yeah, it's it's in the shape of this little tree. Now this one is 500 mils or 17 ounces. And it was uh, $7.99, so you get a fair bit. But isn't that pretty? Um, so this one is... Oh, this one's Frosted Pine. This is Nordic Pine. I, I'm sure there's not too much difference between the two of them, but I'm going to give one to my mom. But I thought they were so cute for the, uh, the winter time. And then uh, this is by Pecksniffs. And this is uh, Kitchen Garden, Rosemary and Mint. Now, I'm pretty sure these Pecksniff ones I paid... I thought they were $7 last time. But yeah, this one was $4.99, and it's also 500 mils or 17 ounces. So, um, pretty good price. And this one really, really smells nice. Oh, it's just so fresh and clean. Really, really pretty scent. And that'll be nice in the winter time. And then I did get uh, this is by Mia and Company. This is Frosted Holly. And yeah, I oh, can't resist a snowman there and a snowwoman. So, so cute. And this one was $7.99. And this one has 710 mils or 24 ounces. So that's uh, even bigger. And this one has a winter berry scent to it. Yeah, it's, very, it's, it kind of, it's light. That one's a bit light on. I was going to say light on cold. I'm not talking candles here. But anyway, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit light, but it's really such a cute little label. Alrighty. And then um, for the skinny syrups, which I put in, you know, coffees, hot chocolate, or what have you, they uh, did have gingerbread latte, which I've uh, had before and then they had a new one and this is chestnut chestnut praline so yeah uh, so no sugar no calories and you only need a little bit to do the trick um, so yeah I was kind of interested in that chestnut uh, praline one and then um, this is a cleaner and this is a multi-purpose cleaners by Sunday cleaning and it's in citrus mint, and oh my gosh, I smelled it in the store. It was so, so good. Um, and this one was $7.99, and you get uh, almost a liter, 946 mils, or 32 ounces. So yeah, it, um, a little, there's a, a lot in here. Um, but yeah, this citrus mint is really, really good. Now there's another company, um, I can't remember the name of it now. I think I have a little bit left. It came in this um, big bottle, like a, almost a liter bottle, and had uh, peppermint uh, all-purpose cleaner. And oh my gosh, it, it is so good. And it was just $7.99 for almost a liter. Um, so I'm hoping um, to see another peppermint one, because I do love peppermint cleaners for the, the winter time. And then uh, Dawn has um, this uh, dish soap that you just spray, and it just puts a little bit on whatever dish you're cleaning, so you're not wasting a lot of product. Um, so I did find this one in uh, Winners, and this is by J.R. Watkins, and it's foaming dish soap, and it's in lemon. And so it's one of those that uh, you spray it on, and it uh, foams up, and then... So if I only have, like, uh, just a few dishes to do, um, you're not wasting it by putting a whole bunch of liquid soap in. This one you just spray it on and then it cleans it. So, um, 
yeah, supposedly this has a, a refill also. So yeah, I always I do like that idea, and Don Don has it, uh, but I did want to try this uh, J.R. Watkins one. Oops. Alrighty, and then um, this is one of those drying mats. Uh, and actually, I mean, if I'm hand washing like some wine glasses that I don't want to put in the dishwasher or whatever, I'll use this um, to, to set them down on and dry. But I, I do like using these for the dog dish. Like the, they're, um, when, when the dogs take a drink, man, you can hear them a mile away and there's water flying everywhere. And I end up walking by getting my socks wet or slipping in the water. But I find that these ones are very, very absorbent. So I put these on the ground and I put the uh, their water dish um, on top of it. And I just find they just uh, soak up the water a lot better than just like a, a regular kind of uh, mat that they sell for dogs and that. So, um, But this one came with uh, a couple of towels, matching towels with it and that sort of thing. So... Anyway, they had a lot of really nice uh, winter designs. And then um, I do love red for the winter, so I got some more uh, dishcloths. And this one has that um, meshy side for stubborn little bits of food. And then uh, more, more doggy poop bags. Uh, these ones are made of cornstarch, so they're biodegradable. And I always get treats at uh, Home Sense and Marshalls and that because they're they're inexpensive and I've been having to use a lot of treats for Millie's exercises. I've uh, got some hair clips and I got I did grab another one of these uh, Umberto Gianni banana butter leave-in conditioner for hair because I put it on last night and my hair is just it's just so soft and in the summertime it doesn't get frizzy and there's uh, shea butter coconut oil capuca butter and Brazil nut oil and you can use a whole pile of it and it still doesn't weigh down your hair I did get I have like three or four backups of this because I do not want to run out it's the best I've tried and then um, I did get this little purse uh, for going out in the evening when we go down south to a resort or something. I like to put my hand sanitizer and lipstick somewhere. And uh, so, yeah, I got this really, really pretty. It's almost like a rose gold um, little purse there. And um, Profusion has these uh, a couple of little glosses for $4.99. And I just thought they were really, really pretty glosses. And they're they're small enough where you can throw it in a purse and not take up too much room. And then last but not least, I did get a copy of Dracula. I think this was $9.99. It has that kind of velvety feel and it's got some uh, like foil. Um, but I've, I've seen a lot of Dracula movies, but I've heard the book is very well written and very... Um, very good so and it even has its own little ribbon bookmark there uh, but yeah I read the first page in when I was shopping and I thought yeah this is it's just very nicely written so I've always heard the book is is quite good so anyway um, that's it I think I'm right I'm gonna run out of battery um, so uh, yeah that's my little haul over the past couple weeks um, I hope everyone is doing well um, just uh, I gotta go out and decorate for Halloween the front yard there um, so everyone take care I'll uh, give your loved ones a hug and kiss and we'll see you soon bye bye